and welcome to the Sportsman Show. I am your host, Joe Musil, along with my good friend, co-host, Coachy DeCarolis. Coachy. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Yeah, give yourself a good. And it's a very special day. It's a special Friday here. It's 9-11. And for the first couple moments and stuff like that, um, let's have a moment of silence for the people who um, – died tragically on this day and stuff yes. so and the people who did the from the firefighters to the police fire, officers fire, fires police officers especially with the world trade center and you know people so we who, have to work 48 second pause so stand yeah. by <laughs> okay 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 that's it was our pause for 9-11 and it's a it hasn't been forgotten here in america uh the president spoke very well president he he um spoke about the courage of uh the pl people who brought down the plane who uh, was going to go to washington and um you know, crash a plane into Washington. The people who were crazy, you know, bravely just sacrificed their lives to, to crash that plane down into the ground. And the other plane that um, crashed into the Pentagon, you can't forget those people either. It wasn't just the, it was major, was the Twin Tower buildings going in, but there was other crashes that day. Um, Coach, you can probably remember that day um, vividly. Yeah, um, I remember the one. There was a, you know, it was more than New York. There was one that happened in Pennsylvania. Yep, that's the Pennsylvania yeah, one um, that crashed. And, one, and then there was one in Washington, like you mentioned, Washington, D.C. Um, once that all started, everybody here in the United States started going to a panic attack because we yep. don't know where it could have struck next. I mean, all the TV stations, including – uh, you know, ES, all the ESPN networks and everything, they immediately went to ABC. Um, and it got to a certain point where, like, when we back had the Nashville Network and all that, now, of course, it's Spike TV. Um, <laughs> everybody everybody ran to the networks of CB. It went to CBS, NBC, ABC, or Fox all over the place. Yeah. And that was so crazy. And I remember the day they let everybody out of school early that day, too. And I think they, and I think that's all there was. I think they made him go back to school the next day, but they made him go home for the rest of the day in case something else really, really happened. And it scared the little daylights out of everybody. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was at work that day. I, I was so just, was I. I was at, um, at my machinist shop. I was um, there and then just, you know, doing parts, doing parts. And then everything went silence, you know, and the whole whole atmosphere changed and yeah, stuff. it happened with me too just, when i worked at the tech school that day we were doing some work the kids were in school we were getting ready to uh i was getting ready to run a register because they couldn't trust anybody in the cafeteria um so that day, once that happened they let everybody go and they even let me go home early from work my aunts were upset they were supposed to do some stuff to our house and uh you know, and then of course, sports wise, we had to take a, we had to take a one week pause, but that was different. This is completely different. They had to do it. Yeah. You know, um, they, sports they, 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 stopped. Yep. The Yankees were the very first game that actually got postponed. Yep. When September 11th was, and then everybody followed suit. But back at the time, of course, we only had really had football and baseball going on. Tennis, I think, just finished their. They're, they're yeah, US yep. yeah, I think so. You so. know, and so we took the pause for a week. And I think the greatest thing that happened was um, during the World Series when the Yankees were in that one, uh, the, the whole old Yankee Stadium lit up like a Christmas tree when George W. Bush came in through the first pitch. Yep. Yeah, that was that was that was nice. That was good. That was a heart touching moment. And I remember that the president on that day actually went from Washington at night and went over to New York to uh, go talk to everybody. Yep. Which is something that a president wouldn't normally do, but he went out there and did it. He felt bad. And that's how he got his second term as president actually because of it. Yeah. 
yeah, there was a lot of popularity with it. He handled the, the situation very well. So he got, I mean, he got his second term. He was going to get a second he term earned. anyways, too, anyways. But, you know, it's a tragic day and stuff. Uh, next year, it will be the 20th anniversary of it. And on this, on 9-11, actually the net, uh, New York Yankees and the yeah, Mets will play. Saturday, will will play on Saturday. And they'll probably do something more special next year if the pandemic's not. Yeah, um, I don't know if our this if our current president now is going to throw the first pitch or not tonight. I don't think he uh, he was supposed to, but I think he opted out. Uh, I'm not sure on that one either. I I think I think he did opt out. I thought he did. I I thought he was supposed to throw first pitch here. Um. Yeah, I, I I think he did. I think he did opt out on that. I think he didn't have enough time or he was scheduled a little bit different. Yeah, it, well, actually, it said he would, announced he would, he was supposed to throw out the first pitch for the Yankees-Red Sox game on August uh, 15th. And then, of course, it, it never happened. So, you know. Yeah. Well, so, we have the whole pandemic thing around here. So yeah, well, you got to be course, careful. Even though, even though, and yes, we have to say something about that before the show is over. I do have to say something about that with the schools going on, but that's not right yeah. now. That's later. Nope. All right. Um, so we got that topic out of the way. Right. Let's talk about a little bit exciting more topic. Football. Football kicked off last night. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Um, hosting the um, Houston last Texans. night. Texans, yeah. So, um, what you think of the game, Coachy? I, I watched a little bit, a couple quarters. I watched uh, Patrick Mahomes. He's he, he's good. He's good. He's a – I mean, the way he rolls out of the pocket and um, the decisions that he makes fast and quickly, the way he fires that ball in, that – I mean – that's a winning combination. He... Well, here, here's what I thought of it since I saw the whole game. I thought only one series he was rusty the whole night, just one. Yeah. Uh, he, had, he, w- he threw the ball quite a bit. About, I think he threw it over 30, about 35 times, 30, which, yep. you know, that's not right for a quarterback. Yep, um, that is. He was able to find people that were open. There were two touchdowns that were called back, but that were, they were both the correct call. The one on Robinson, yep. Marcus Robinson. That um, should have been the first one the of the game, yeah. He had the catch, but that ball was moving while he was going into the dive. Yep. And then once that happens, the ball was – I was like, nope, that's called back. And I and this is my guy who had in fantasy football, by the way, Patrick Mahomes. So, yeah, know, just, yeah, you had a good night. You had a good night. Yeah, I did. But um, And then there was another occasion where Sammy Watkins thought he had a touchdown. Whoops, he wasn't on, He wasn't touched. There goes the elbow going down at the one-yard line. I said, nope, that's going to come back too. Yep. And then – but the next play – he, he found uh, Sammy Watkins. But with Sammy Watkins last year, who had three touchdowns in week one, uh, yep. didn't really get in the end zone again. Now he starts the season with a touchdown this year, and he was actually the best receiver last night. Uh, well, Kansas City well, has – Well, Tyreek Hill was covered most yeah. of the time. He was double teamed. Well, that for- takes the pressure off a lot of players, you know. You got to double team that guy because if not, he's going to catch some passes. Yeah, I mean, well, he did have a couple last night. Um, let me bring up some stats here. I mean, bit. it's it's hard to double. Um, Keith Keenan is running free in your secondary almost all the time, and that's a big, huge target for Patrick Mahomes. Well, uh, Cunningham, the the, uh, the the defensive back last night, took had two bad penalties, unfortunately, last night. Yeah. They stopped uh, Kansas City on fourth and goal. Yeah. Oops. He did hold them. He had a grab, and unfortunately, uh, that was that was pass interference, and that was legit. Well, I, I think Keith Keenum is the probably best tight end in football. Right. I well, really well, Kelsey, well, Travis Kelsey last night got open a few times, too. A few times, but he doesn't have the quarterback to help him out fully like uh, Keith Keenum does. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, but I thought Patrick Mahomes last night, I mean, 
He only had 211 yards. I get it, but well, it was it's still a good night for him for three touchdowns. For three touchdowns, I mean, as long as you have those three touchdowns, plus um, Kansas City was shortening the field and stuff um, yep. uh, on the special teams and getting short fields, and yep. their defense did pretty well. Yes, their defensive end, uh, I think it's Chris Robinson, if I remember yeah. correctly. Okay, he had two sacks last night yep. against Houston. The first one was pretty good, but um, Deshaun Watson was was pressured 13 times out of 34 last night. Yeah. It was a police car. Um, <laughs> we, uh, you know, Watson, I, I thought, looked okay. I mean – he didn't have his best protection in the world. He still threw the ball 34 times. And, you know, they're not used to the fact that um, – Well, they, all quarterbacks nowadays throw the ball 34 times, yeah. you know. Well, now they have a, a running game with David Johnson who came over from uh, – for DeAndre Hopkins, which I was still shocked. That I can't believe that trade went down. But yeah, uh, he had a uh, decent night. He did have a touchdown, and he actually finished with – 11 carries for 77 yards, and he caught three balls for 32. Yeah. So, so he, he had a pretty nice game. That's pretty I nice. thought he had a good game, too, in his debut. Uh, you know, Deshaun Watson had that one bad pick, but he also had a TD catch, and he ran in one for a touchdown. Yep. Um, now, he, Houston's best worst receivers next up on the list, Will Fuller. Okay, now he's the number one go-to guy, and last night he proved it. He had 112 yards receiving. That's a yeah. good start for him. After no his, touchdowns, though. No, but he. This is after he had ankle sur- pretty bad surgery last yeah. year. That he recovered pretty nicely. Now they also picked up Brandon Cooks, but I'm a little scared with him because this is his fourth team in six years now. I think he's just he's just a floater player. I mean, oh. he floats around. He finds teams that are close to being fo- uh, playoff ready. And need that extra step, you know. Mm-hmm. That's that's what he's become. I mean, that's not too bad to um, to be, co- you know, to do. But it kind of chops up your career, you know. I, I mean, you you could call him a, like a special wide receiver, like a loner for a year or something like that. I don't I don't have a Sometimes term for two it. Years. Sometimes two or something like that. But two see, what, one. Well, is Houston going to take the the Rams contract when he signed like a big four or five year deal and he was traded from New England to Los Angeles when yeah. he came over on a trade like that? But you know, yeah. Um, now Kansas City with their running back, as you know, um, one of their running backs took the season off this year because of the pandemic. Oh, yep. So here comes Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Yep, uh, the he's rookie a from LSU. Yep. Uh, 25 carries, 138 yards, and a touchdown last night. That's a that, good way to start your rookie uh, rookie season. Yes, that is. Year. Yes, that is. He was bouncing off of uh, – I mean, Houston's defense looked like a, a bunch of arm tackling trying to tackle him, you know. Yes. They were just sticking their arms out and not wrapping them up or anything like that. He was bouncing off those guys like a ping-pong ball. Oh, um, absolutely. He, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he wasn't afraid to run in between the tackles or anything. He he did some good runs outside the tackles, too, a couple of yeah. them. So, um, I mean, that's a, that's a solid player, you know. Oh, absolutely. By, by far, that's a great, it's a great uh, way for him to uh, start, start a season. Now that puts the pressure on the other running back when he comes back. As my father said, uh, he could be uh, – he could be released pretty quickly. Well, football stands for not for long. That's yeah, what football well, stands for. Yeah, that's that's what it was, uh, basically. Um, I mean, there's always a player, especially at the running back position. You take your chances nowadays with a running back. Yep. You don't see the career running back like an Emmett Smith or a B- Barry Sanders or anything like Absolutely. that. Uh, they're just – Running backs are there for like three, four years, and you're mm-hmm. done with them. Oh yeah, a- absolutely. So absolutely, you know. And they also had a lineman last night that I need to mention. Their their offensive line, uh, 
they, they, except for that one series that they looked rusty, I thought they were right on schedule last night. I really yep. did. Kansas City's, Kansas City's going to be there in the end. Or, or right. close but to it. Close to it. They won't be a team that starts off good and then has their struggles. Um, I don't see him struggling. Andy Reid should be able to, you know, he's a good enough coach to um, strain yeah. up his team and let, yeah. let him fro- but, but fly just, right. But just lose the face shield, though. Yeah, lose the face shield. Uh, that, Andy Reid, if you're listening, if you want to watch our show, a wear a mask or something like that. You looked like a duck-billed dinosaur out there. I mean, it, it was yeah, kind of funky. He's a great coach. He's That's out of respect. That was out of respect. I didn't like, unfortunately, it, it, the mask just looked like too much. It looked like he was going through a rainstorm. Yep, yep, it did, it did. So, um, you know. Now, now, on, now, besides that, on Houston's side, I think they got some learning to do. Um, it's going to be a little bit tough for them this year. Well, I mean, this, it's going to be tough for them enough. this year because they're versing the number one teams in the league. Um, so, next week doesn't get any easier with Baltimore. What? New defensive coordinator, by New the way. New defensive coordinator. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take them – it's going to take a couple of weeks for that offense and defense to become yep. ready. Right. And then when we talk about our next football segment ne- uh, next week, because obviously it's going to be a little tough trying. Well, of course my schedule just got easier, but um, we, we may have to a little bit, you know, in about reconvening like maybe six days pro- or probably on a Wednesday night, if, if possible, um, to find out hopefully none of the players test positive. That's yep. now – biggest worry after Monday night's games what is Tuesday going to look like and see where we're going so far the NFL has only had five positive cases so yeah hopefully that all goes well hopefully me too but there are a lot of good games starting the season and it's unpredictable how it's going to go I'm already hearing um there's a couple players who are listed as doubtful like Mike Evans of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers he's got dealing with a hamstring. Um, Kenny Galladay's got a problem, too. He's doubtful. Um, yep. There's a couple players who had practices. I think I just found out about maybe before we got on the air that it said Debo Samuel for the San Francisco 49ers, his wide receiver, he is out for this week. Yep. Foot, okay. Out he's out. If he's on he's your out. fantasy football team, cut him. Get him out or just put him on your bench. Yep. You know, but but like I said, if for any of you who wants to um who want who's in fantasy football, look in www.rotoworld.com. It's a free site. They tell you pretty much the updates of what's going on with the football players, especially right around game time, because on Sundays the injury they, they tell us by eleven thirty if these guys are active or inactive. Okay. So, so they I'm, give you some time. They give you. Some they, time. they do give me time. It's like me on Sunday morning. I, I debate till about eleven, eleven thirty. Find out what's going on. You have to think in your mind what if this player is going to start because I actually have if these two players do not start that make my fantasy football team. I have Chris Godwin of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who would move to the number one, and yep. I have Kenny Gall and I have not Kenny Galladay, but Marvin Jones of Detroit. They would become my number one receiver targets. There so that go. might be a big help because Mahomes did get me 26 points and in one league, 29 in my brother's league in Yahoo. And then in the ESPN, I rolled Fuller. He was worth 19 points last night. So off to a good start. Off to a good start. All right. You know, um, so, but yeah, so, so yeah, take a look at Roto World. It will tell you what is going on, you know, but, but we'll see. I don't follow fantasy football. Oh, I know you don't. I know, I don't. I don't own the players. I, I don't own them that, that way. You know, I I like just watching them. I like their athleticism and stuff like that. I, I don't own them or I'm not going to get upset because this guy's no, no, I know. or well, anything like that. And, and yes, for you fantasy owners, before we move on, um, I do need to tell you, uh, if you have Keyson Johnson of the Arizona Cardinals, he's a wide receiver. He's been placed on the team's reserve COVID-19 list. Oh. So – so we have to wait and see what's going on. And also, um, I do need to tell you this right now, too, and I just read this report. As you all know, the wildfires are going out in California right now. Okay? Oh, wild. 
wildfires. The whole place yeah. is burning down. There's San Francisco is supposed to be home to the Arizona Cardinals. They may postpone the game. Yep. They so may. that's well, something. The whole, their whole watch. city is orange right now, Coach. Right. That's the, whole the problem. city's orange. Yep. That's, and that's not more of their that, problem. There's a, game, there's a game in New Orleans between them and Tampa Bay. They may be playing not the Superdome. They may be playing in another area because they the mayor has not cleared them to play yet at the yep. Superdome. Well, yeah. Well, that that would be good. That would be yep, good. But, but, yeah, when we do our football session next week, it's going to be a full load of how, the, how we will say about how the teams looked and everything. But that's for a show next week. Yep. Yep. Once so um, um you want to do a little bit of hockey or something yeah, let's do the hockey now because basketball i got, I got to see you, for you for basketball with game seven for tonight's uh big celtics big. celtics celtics um so las vegas and uh the two series right now tampa bay's up two games to none they have game three tonight the islanders are coming off a game two loss where the, the game was tied most of the night until Nikita Kucherev uh, gave Tampa Bay the lead with 7.8 seconds left in regulation, which felt like if you were an Islanders fan, it's, it's like you took a shot to the heart. If you were a yeah. Tampa Bay fan, you literally jumped out of your seat or jumped out of the couch and uh, went crazy running around the living room. But well, let, I'm, let's, not, uh, I'm not either, so I didn't do either. Yeah, I know. Um, so tonight for this game three, um, Tampa Bay is without Alex Kilhorn. He's been suspended for tonight's game nice. for, a, for a hit to the head, uh, which, you know, the, you're not going to get away with murder on it. I mean, it's the playoffs. They'll only give you a one-game warning. Um, Braden Point was, is going to be a game-time call tonight. I have not heard anything whether he's going to be in the lineup. Oh, actually, he was on the – he was on the ice for this morning's skate, so he may be in. But we'll see what the final decision goes. But this is a must win for the Islanders tonight. If they do not win this game, then Sunday afternoon, uh, Tampa Bay might be coming with, might be receiving the Prince of Wales trophy. And then they'll probably get about uh, at least five days off before they prepare for the finals. But if the Islanders win, then yeah. it's a new series. Now, the other one. Um, last night, uh, Wednesday, uh, yeah, Thursday night, Las Vegas and Dallas went to overtime. It lasted only 31 seconds. It was pretty quick. quick. Um, it was pretty quick. Amy, Amy Ben scored a goal where, um, he just, just took a shot at the net just for keeps. Yeah. And the puck goes off the left goal post and in the net past Robin Lehner and in the net and Dallas won that game in overtime three to two. They lead the series two games to one. They have a game tomorrow night, game four at 8 o'clock, our time, of course, because now everybody's being played in Edmonton. Now, I am a little bit – I've got a little bit of a pet peeve here about Las Vegas with their goaltending, which I don't think is fair. Um, when they drafted Mark andre Fleury when Las Vegas was had their expansion draft, uh, he was supposed to be their franchise goaltender, you know, signed him to a three-year contract extension – so then he struggled a little bit this year. They, uh, they went and traded Robin Leonard to the, Las, to the uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights for Malcolm Subban, uh, who, by the way, that's uh, PK's brother. So on that occasion, now if, if Lehner, uh, there's a five-year contract extension waiting for him. Once he takes that deal, that's going to make Marc-Andre Fleury expandable. And if, the, if Chicago Blackhawk fans, if you're listening, that might be the team for you to go to because there might be an opening. But just don't you bet? But you better take a discount because the the uh, salary cap is flat this year. So, uh, um, oh. but they but they did announce about the draft and the free agency today. Um, okay, they will be doing their. It is virtual, by the way. Yeah, yeah before it started. Uh, of um, course. It will, it will take it'll take place Tuesday, October sixth, and Wednesday, October seventh, and then the free agency will come two days later. It'll start October 9th. Yep. So it's yep. gonna it's gonna feel pretty weird, and then we'll see if the if the NHL will start in December. It all depends what's going on already. So you know, but we still got to get through this third round first. So it's yeah. got four teams to go. So. 
Yeah. All right. Get your go ahead, Joe. Get yourself reveled up for Game Seven, will you? Game Seven is tonight. Nine eleven. <laughs> oh man, for the Celtics and Raptors. This has been a very interesting series. Boston takes the first two games. Um, for, for the first one they took very easily. I mean, uh, and the next one, uh, Kemba Walker won Game Two on a step back. Um, Shot, you know, I mean, that's his patented shot. I mean, where he just fades right back in somebody's face and knocks down that J. I mean, that that's – and the next two games were closer for the Raptors. On the final five seconds of a game, I believe it was game three, three that the pass went over Taco Falls in, right into the guy's lap for the three. Shot it, made it, no problem. Yeah, I, I don't know why, boss. Yeah, yeah, I had to. Uh, I wanted to slow it down because on my thing, it, you can rewind the shot and look at it on replay because I because I run the score clock. Yeah, he, he got it off. Seen, he got it off. Uh, I, I mean, he had plenty of time. He, he, did. Um, one tenth, he got it out with one tenth left, but his, yeah, but it was out of his hands right off the bat. Yep. So. so, I mean, that was a. That was an awesome pass. The pass over Taco Falls like that, mm-hmm. pass a- accurately. That was an awesome pass. That that yep. right there, I thought, okay, Boston's gonna have a harder time with Ra- this Raptor team than than I thought. You know, which they did, and they're gonna extend this series a lot more. Uh, that was that was a momentum changer right there. Uh, and yep. game four, um, the Raptors battled back. Celtics have had the lead for, through the first two quarters of almost all these games. And the Raptors just keep on fighting back. I mean, Celtics need just to close them out. You know, they just need to keep the pressure on. It's just for 48 minutes, Celtics need to play basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, for tonight, they definitely do. I mean, yeah, you should have won Game Six. Yeah, I'm sorry, should have won that one. Yeah, it was a uh, um, two overtimes, and uh, I think um, Kemba Walker has um, showed up a lot in these playoffs. I think Jason Tatum needs to a little bit more for Jason Tatum. I, I think his um, like he needs to become a little bit more of a star you know, and start taking over. I mean, he's got all the abilities to do that. He, he's, he's got the shot. He's got everything. He just needs to just push himself a little bit more, right. I think. Well, this is it tonight. There's no more. Uh, there's yeah, no more. It, it's, it's no, one. This is it. Yeah, this he's, is he's it. You're playing Miami or you're going home to quarantine for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, and then going home to your families and, playing some golf. Well, actually, no, they got to stay away from their families. They got to stay away for two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, stay away and stuff like that. And then they go play some golf and whatever. Now, the other Eastern Conference series, uh, I think you're going to agree with this. The Milwaukee Bucks were not not even close to being in it after what happened. Yeah. um, They were – they weren't in it to – there was an injury yeah, too, was, but I don't think they were never in it once. That no, whole even hurt. with um, any of uh, the Greek freak um, being uh, in the first two games, but even in the first two games, they lost by double digits. Those those first two yeah, and stuff it, like that. Yeah, it wasn't even close. And it wasn't close. Um, he. Miami Heat brought brought their game. They they really did. Uh, what's what's his name? I, I slipped on his name. Miami's player. <laughs> yeah, oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Bring up the roster. Bring up the roster. Bring up the roster. Bring up the roster. Here we go. Um, let's see. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy That'd be Butler. Your first call. Jimmy. That he's he's been playing. Um. Like a man um, possessed, you know. He really, he's really playing some good ball. He's he's doing it all. So. Yep. And you know, and, and you know, this is the first time if they make if they make it to the finals, it's been a while for them. But remember, there's no uh, no LeBron James. 
Well, no Dwayne Wade. Well, no, but Miami's always with with the head um, of Pat Rowley. Pratt Riley, yep, team president. Yep, team Pat president. Riley. He's a very smart man. He's a very – he was a great coach. I mean, if he – always, always won rings as a coach and a team president and a team president. Yeah. And, I mean, he could have got more rings if he didn't run into Michael Jordan and stuff no, like or, that. That's or, a hard – or Phil Jackson. Team, by the way. Yeah. I mean, but – He's he's a smart. He knows basketball. He he's a very smart guy. He he Didn't knows he how to put a team. Miami together. Heat too as a head coach or no? Yeah, he coached Miami. Yeah, but did he win a ring? I don't. I, yes, I think he did. He did win a ring, and then he stepped down to become the team president. Yeah, I think he won that ring with Dwayne Wade and Shaq. That's what I thought because I remember Pat Riley won one more. Yep. So. I mean, I think how many rings he's won. I mean, they draft well. Miami does. They pick up good free agents and stuff. They're a well-run organization for all all said and be. Miami oh, is well well run. You know, so he, I, I, he, I'll he, give him credit he, credit he, on he that. Coached one thousand nine hundred and four games. Uh, yep. He's got a record of one thousand two hundred and ten wins and six hundred ninety four losses. That's pretty good. Yeah, and, and yes, and just for the record, Joe. Yeah. Um, well, they won the NBA. He did win as a head coach uh, back in two thousand and six. Yeah, that was the um, Dwayne Wayne and Shaq team. Yep. So you know what? Hey, and at least I believe he's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, he wow. is. That, that's he what is. I thought. All right. But um, you um, know, we got to talk about the West too, because yeah, the West. West is still going on right now. I think, I think Denver's done. I I don't think they have enough firepower. Um, what are they? They're losing right now. Right now they're losing twenty three to sixteen. It's early. It's it's late in the first quarter. Under three minutes to go. I think the Clipper. I think this is what's going to happen. If the Clippers win this game. Uh, Doc Rivers' job's going to be safe. I think he had to get to the conference finals this year. Yeah, I think so. So. I believe um, it's going to be an L.A. finish, you know. It's I don't, looking like a Clippers-Lakers that yeah, we never it's going to be. Of. And this is going to be interesting. They're going to be on neutral ground. No home field advantage. No home court. No yeah. home court. No. I mean, L.A. would have uh, – Oh, if this happened oh, in God. L.A. The oh, wow. Oh, the Staples, Joe, the, the Staples Center would have loved this. Oh, yeah. They would have just went you crazy. Know how much money, you know how much money they would have made? Yep. Yeah. They would have all the, the games in L.A. All, I mean, how, how do you even have home court advantage? How, yeah, I mean, how many people were going to wear Kobe Bryant jerseys at the game? Yep. I mean, they lost out on this. Uh, L.A. lost out on a good final. Right, but I mean, unless, maybe, uh, but you know, unless the Denver wins the next three games, I uh, don't think so. I, I think, think so. Um, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George is a one-two punch. punch. I think that over overpowers Denver a little bit more. Um, Murray, yeah, the Lakers, by the way, play tomorrow night too. Yeah, so. I was getting to the Lakers, but yep. Mur- Murray for Denver, I, I don't think he has. I don't think he has enough oomph to beat. Beat a team like this. I like, agree. So. I mean, Denver. Denver took all their firepower out. Firepower out in the first round when they played the Utah Jazz. Yeah. Yeah. So. You know, and that got too high. Too much of high scoring, too. By the way. Yeah, there was too much defense. Uh, LA is a way better defensive team than mm-hmm. Utah. So. Now yeah. the only thing about the Clippers, and I think I read this the other day, and you know, yeah. I think I posted it on my. You might have read it on my Facebook. I posted it. Okay. Um, one of the Clippers here. While you have a sip of soda, let me uh find it because I I posted I no sugar. Yesterday. No sh- Hey, that's okay. It's Friday night. You can have a little bit of sugar. No sugar. No sugar. No uh, sugar. All right. As I'm trying to find this, I'll uh. Keep talking to everybody here. Well, um, yeah, talk to some people. Yeah, I'm I, I'm trying right now. I have to scroll down though because I had more comments on my football game than ever before last. Oh, here we go. Okay, Daniel House Jr. Allegedly, their league was investigating that he allowed a female testing 
allowing female testing official into hotel room. Oops. Don't be doing that. Uh, don't, that don't may be going that. on a lot more than just female testing. Maybe he's a single guy and let her in to have, yeah, you know. I don't I don't know tonight. I have Yay. to check this. maybe she I have to check to see if he actually played game four tonight because there was a game time call if he was gonna be allowed to play or not tonight. Yep. Because but, um I can check right now if he, if he is in the lineup. So Yeah. On. Okay, you check for that. Um right L, you know, LA and um the Houston, I I don't think um Houston has enough firepower to beat L.A. Westbrook and Harding uh, mm -hmm. are being shut down by the, by the Lakers' defense. Uh, the one-two one punch of LeBron James and, and um, Anthony Davis is just – that's a good one-two punch. That, that, that knocks out a lot of teams. Um, Rajon Rondo looks very good. Yeah, Rajon Rondo, uh, um, you know, he went back to his old Celtics day and yep. actually put up a game, you know. But. Okay, um, the one that I just mentioned about for the Houston Rockets, he will he has left the bubble and he will not return. Okay. So the investigation. So Houston's down a player. He had a guest in his hotel room, and you know what? I'm going to actually post that right now. Yeah. Um, says house al house allowed a female COVID nineteen testing official into his hotel room, which. Mm. Was House was a late scratch from game three. Yeah. And he yep. out. Yeah. So basically that that's the end He's of done. him. And he's see done. If he's going to get released or not, but that you cannot do that. No, I'm you sorry. can't do that. It, but maybe, you know, uh, let's leave it at that. that. Leave it at that. But that, that's something you don't need to be doing in the playoffs. It's already bad enough on a danger zone right now that. Yeah. You know, I mean, there, there's really not much more you can you can really uh, say about it right now. But I'm not too thrilled that. that I, I'm not happened. too thrilled that happened either. But it, what is he? Probably 25 years old. Not uh, even 20 something years old. Let me see. Wait. I, I mean, he, find it. he's a young man. He, oh yeah, probably. absolutely. I, I mean, young men do dumb things. Yeah, but you don't you don't do it in a hotel room. Wow, you do it whenever you, uh, whenever that brain says ding 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 ding, ding ding. Yeah, well, <laughs> ding ding too late. Yeah, but you know that's. And he's only twenty seven years old, by the way. Well, that's a little bit older than I thought he would be for making a mistake like that. But no, it, it's not not very not very bright. No, it's not. So. Oh. All right, we'll leave that one for another day if something else happens. But yeah, that was not too that too swift, and I did read the whole Yahoo article about it and see. I don't think Houston having him or not having him is going to help against the deal. Lakers. No. Bigger difference. Nope. They're going to get ousted tonight or tomorrow or next time they play. Tomorrow it. night. It's tomorrow night they play. I think it's a seven o'clock game or seven thirty. Yeah. Up. So one, is it so. three one? They're That's leaving. also three one. So they're gonna get. They're oh gonna God! Go last night the Lakers weren't even close. They uh, it wasn't even close till it got to the fourth quarter. I think the closest it got was within five. Yeah. So and then, uh, once they hit the three, I was like, "Yep, that's it. I've seen enough." Yep. Good night. So, um, all right. All right. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. Uh, baseball. Um, baseball. you know the Red Sox are winding down their regular season. Um, yeah, they're not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, I saw them play the Phillies. We split the doubleheader, but unfortunately uh, had a 4-3 lead in the bottom of the ninth, and Philadelphia decided to put his lights out. So yeah. But the good news is we haven't had a player tested now for COVID the last uh, couple weeks, finally. That's a good thing. I can't say too much about my Yankees. They're going to make now. the playoffs, though. They're going to make the play. Hopefully we make the playoffs. we got 20 more games. Actually – Actually, 19 more games yeah, okay. left, uh, and they are, are struggling with Baltimore right now. Weren't they Actually, winning? Actually, we, uh, we just went up 2-1 on Baltimore. Okay. Yeah, you're playing a doubleheader today, if I'm yep. not mistaken. 
Yeah, yeah. we're playing we're the first game pretty pretty easy. Yeah, six zero, and now we're on the yeah. second one. Okay. But, All right, you're very good. But if the, here here's what the New York Yankees need to do. I'm you, listening. Go ahead. Are you listening to this? Because I'm about to yell at the New York Yankees. Good luck. Well, you've team. done it before. so No, this is your first time ranting on them. You ranted the Mets once, so go I ahead. I ranted the Mets. I, I rant on the Yankees. You need to fire your um, st- uh, st- position, uh, strength in the coaches, your gym coach. Strength and conditioning coach, okay. You, you really do because – your your players are out there getting hamstrings and muscle pulls and and judges re-injuring his um you know his his back side problem all the time and what are you doing how how are you uh, mismanaging the players this badly aren't you aren't you conditioning these um you know areas that they keep on getting injured aren't you working on them or something like that i, I mean no ben because, gay on them I, no I, because uh they think because there's no um minor leagues um there's no minor uh, league teams this year so they have to basically go down somewhere else well they're not going to go out of the bubble but I, I can't under this has ha- been happening to the Yankees for the past three years that players are just getting injured. Well, and not only not only that, Joe. I mean, you, you're not going to blame Aaron Boone. You just can't. Well, he he's going to take the full blunt of this if yeah he, if he will. doesn't win a championship in the next two years. He's gone. He's you're going to give him two more years. I'll get. I'll give him. Two years after this year, after okay. this year, if he doesn't win a championship with that roster, he's gone. You won't okay. hear Aaron Bruns' name anymore. I don't know who we'll get, but we'll get somebody. <laughs> no, see, I think what's going to happen is now with Aaron Boone, I think next year, if uh, because I think you're going to get a free pass this year, but – you know, I think what's going to happen is they make the playoffs. I think they're going to have to win a they're going to have to win a uh, a series. Well, James Paxton just went down with his final injury for the full season. Oh boy, he's out. <laughs> All right, that's yeah, a well, lefty right, right, right lefty. now, Joe. As of right now, you are the number eight seed. Yeah, I know, and it's not even looking good for that. Baltimore is this is a big series for you guys it's a huge series because we got to hurdle toronto because they're only a game behind us toronto is in in the standings yeah it's you know the the only the only teams right now i don't see having a playoff push is texas boston kansas city uh los angeles angels well actually no don't count the angels out yet but i mean i know everybody is still in this but you know, it, for a Red Sox fan, you're running out of time. You only have yeah. like 15 games left. Yeah, I think the Red Sox season is done. Yeah. Oh, no, we can put a fork in it. Yeah. I mean. Um, for the National League, from what I'm looking at right now, um, Miami yeah. Marlins, I'm impressed. Yeah. San Diego, much impressed. Well, uh, San Diego well. made all those nice trades and stuff there. They're making a World Series run. They're they're pushing against the Dodgers. They're pushing it right now. I mean, right now after the Giants, they do have a comfortable, I think, a two game lead on Colorado. So yep, you know, um, so that's... the Cubs. Cubs are making a nice run. Uh, yes, LA is running away with everything. Of course, you know, but, but they got the players, gonna, so they. It's going to look very weird. Um, what come playoff time? What's going to happen if there's going to be a bubble or not? I think they're still – they were talking about Yeah, that. they're going to talk about the bubble. They're going to – get on it soon. Yeah. The, the, hopefully they get their stuff together in the next 20 days before the season runs. Uh, yeah, because baseball can't afford to have another problem like they already did. Well, in the next 20 days, what's that put us into October, past October? Yeah, probably? October. I think the regular season doesn't end until like the second week of October. You, you can't really play games in New York in November because that's going to probably snow or something. 
Don't yeah. say that. They've played games in November at Yankee Stadium before, Joe. I know. It was cold. This- yeah, well, just remember, Derek Jeter made you 2001 – the uh, the MVP like you like like crazy when they when he uh, made when he made the whole Yankee Stadium erupt and uh, yeah Kim almost go on his knees start to go in tears yeah so, but that was a great Derek Jr. moment yes it was I watched I watched the whole game I put hockey on the computer so yeah at that point um what we got ten minutes uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got about 10 minutes. Okay. We didn't do um, as much f- football as we wanted. Yep. Do, do you want to do your got, football we got a lot picks? Of football. Well, we got a lot of football into it, so. Uh, so you don't want to give anybody a prediction or anything for the upcoming yeah. season? Yeah, well, I can probably do week one yeah, picks. Predict you're on, and it's back of you. Yep. Yep, well, she's having some peanut M&Ms right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There it goes. Yep. She 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 picks the color M and M's of choice. So okay. So she she takes the same color, which you know she's got a pattern for that. So. Ah, classic. I know. That's classic. Know. All right. Uh, let, me um, get, let me get the week one schedule here. Well, you don't want to do week ones. Do you want to just do division picks and stuff? Uh, um. See who wins. I guess we can do that. Yeah. Um. I mean, AFC East. I'm going with the Buffalo Bills. Um, let's see, AFC East. Uh, I'll go with the Buffalo Bill, Bills being tied with the New England Play Shirts. I'm so not who will win the tiebreaker. Uh, I believe they both be at 10 and 6 oh, or something nice. like we that. So many tiebreakers, we're going to have to look at things. Yeah, it's it's going to so. be 10 and 6, and it's going to go down to the um head to head matchups. Who wins? Okay. Yeah. Well, don't worry. Well, New England gets Miami in their first week, so. Yeah. We'll talk that, about that's that a, game. So. Well, Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, starting Mr. 46 Mr. years old. Yeah, big beard, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Mr. I, I mean, receptionist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, the AFC North, I'm going to say um, – you know, as much as ball, I, I will say Baltimore can win the division, but if they get if they start snoozing, here comes Pittsburgh. Uh, I I I I think Baltimore will will take it out easily. Um, I don't think Pitt, once if Ben Bratzenberg gets injured again, they're done for that season. Yeah, I, and I think his career's winding down too. He, his career's winding down. He's injured. Injured more than he is upright. I think. I think he even t- if if he takes a mild hit or one big hit during the season, yep. I think that's that's all. Do- it's That'll all done. Be the end of it. All done. Um, I think he retires after this year. Maybe probably. We'll see. But um, I say AFC Baltimore. South? Yep. Um, you Ten, know that's not Indiana. easy. Pick, but even though Houston's zero one, I still think Houston's going to finish first, and Indianapolis is going to finish second. Um, I I take Tennessee to finish first in that division. I, know, I see Tennessee struggling. I really do because I don't know how Tannehill's going to look in a in a full season now since he's number one quarterback. He scares me. I I say I say Tannehill gets a couple. I mean, they may be uh ten and. Or nine and eight, or something like that. Nine seven or ten, or uh, you're you're gonna so you're gonna go nine seven or eight and eight. Um, nine nine seven, probably nine, like seven. that. Okay. Wins that and division. You know I'll, I'll, I'll switch with it. I'll probably say, um, I'll put Tennessee up to second place, and I'll probably still give um, Houston. Uh, what, yeah, Houston can still win the division. I really do, but they can't struggle. They can't do like they did in their first game, but. Well, it doesn't get any easier with Baltimore up next, so it no, doesn't. And then the AFC West, uh, I think we're both agreeing on this. Yeah, Kansas, Kansas City. City. That was even before they played their first game last night. Yeah, that, that was easily. I, I put so, them at probably 13-3, and three, something like that, when it um, throughout the I year. Would give, I would give them the benefit of the doubt and probably go 12-4 and four just to play safe. Yeah, something like that. I can do it but that way. I, I um, say L.A. 
uh, San Diego, uh, not San Diego, and LA uh, Chargers, and next after that, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. So, um, and then Denver, Denver, Denver yeah, at no, the bottom. Denver, Denver's going to finish in the bottom. I think they're going to yeah. have trouble this year again. And they yeah. just lost Von Miller for three months. So, yeah. So. Um, That's not good. The, the NFC, NFC I know I've got five minutes, and i got to try and get the soccer thing, and then I can real quick. Um, yep. The NFC East, I'm going to go and say, oh, boy, I hope they don't blow it this year. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say Philadelphia because Dow, Des, Dak Prescott just scares me after what he did last year. But I think it's going to be another one of these where Philadelphia is going to go 9-7 and seven and Dallas is going to go 8-8 eight and eight again. Yep. Yeah, um I see that too. I, I I'll go with Philly. I actually I'll go if Dallas struggles this year and doesn't play well. I put them at six and nine, or something Does like Prescott that. Free agent or no? Who Jack Prescott? Yeah. Jack Prescott. You don't, yeah. Will he free will agent. Do well this year. Well, if Dallas doesn't pay him, I he, he I don't see him sticking. He's walking. Because Ezekiel Elliott got his money, but not, um, yeah, not Dak. Yeah. So, so, and you never pay a running back in this league. Nope. Never uh, do. The NFC South. I'm going with New Orleans. Tampa Bay is going to be in second. Yes, they're going to make the playoffs on a wild card, but New Orleans has got still has enough firepower. But just hope Drew Brees doesn't overdo uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I him. hope that I pick New Orleans. Hopefully, Drew Brees holds up throughout the. He is an older quarterback. Yeah, and Brady, so good luck. Welcome to a new division. You play at New Orleans. I think yep. it's going to be a high-scoring game, and New Orleans is still going to beat Tampa Bay. Yeah. So, so um, the NFC North. Yep. Um, you know, I can't give it to Green Bay because I think um, I think Green Bay has been having a little bit of off-season trouble with Aaron Rodgers. I know he wasn't too happy. So, um, it. You know, but I'm going to go this way. I'm going to say Minnesota is going to win the division. But I yeah. think this year, uh, I, I hate to say it to Matt Patricia, but I think he's going to be going after this season because I don't think I think Detroit is going to have to make the playoffs, and I don't see it happening. No, I don't think so either. I, I'll go Minnesota. I go, I'll go. Uh, um, you know, uh, Chicago next. After that, I go oh, Green yeah. Bay. I've and... got some players, by the way, who are questionable this week. Yeah, and questionable. But I, I don't think I don't see Green Bay doing anything. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't see him doing I mean, anything. Aaron Jones in my fantasy, in one of my fantasy leagues, but I think Aaron Rodgers had some struggleness a little bit. So yeah, it's not going well. No. So you want to pick um, the West? West does NFC it. West, it's between really two teams. I already heard about the Rams. They've got a running back by the committee. But you know yep. what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with an upset, I think, in the NFC West. And you may agree with this. Arizona Cardinals. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe the Arizona Cardinals. I'll put, I put them – that may be the division that stands out this year. Because I, I – And I'll – yeah. Out. I'll give I'll give the um, San Francisco the drop back in that division. I'll give him second, and um, give them second. And the close close third is the Seattle yeah. Seahawks. Yeah, um, it's going to be struggle between Seattle and San Francisco to see if they can get into the playoffs. Yeah, well, um, San Francisco. I mean, good, glad that they kept their defensive coordinator, but. We'll, uh, we'll we'll see what what he does, but and remember remember folks, we'll say it again. Arizona and San Francisco might have their game postponed, so you have to watch. Yep. On that and see how that goes at this point. So, um, I know we got about two three minutes. So two three I'm gonna, four minutes. Okay. Okay. So we picked our up, divisions so this, this week. We'll, yep. we'll give you your Super Bowl picks next week when the. Yeah, games. I mean, and of course, we'll talk about the other football games that we're. Yeah, playing. we'll talk and about them, and we'll just yeah. talk about who was the best player in that game. So yeah, um, to finish it off, um, and I'll do my random sports thing shortly. Major League Soccer. Uh, yeah. Welcome, to, welcome to Connecticut, Toronto Field Club. Um, Toronto. This was announced today. Before yes, it was. It here. came out today. Yep. Uh, their first game. Over there at Rentschler will be September 27th. 
right now. Yep, they're not no selling fans. tickets, no fans, but this might be something that might help the state of Connecticut a little bit with UConn football not being played there this year. This could be something that could help. I mean, the Hartford Athletics uh, have drawn pretty good. Yes, they've yep. social distancing from what Just I've heard. The thing. They, um, they did a good season this year. They, they, they had a yes, good they have a new coach who's done pretty good. Yep. From what I've read, but – I think if the – now, I don't know if this, these games are going to be on TV. It's like the same thing with the Blue Jays. I hope so. I, I hope they let um, the Connecticut fan actually see them. Hopefully they're on the CW. Probably October. We're hoping October yep. maybe if the cases stay down. I mean, you know. I mean, hopefully they're on CW20 or ESPN3 or something like that. Or, or um, you know, or, or uh, My59 or something like that. Yeah, you know. Or, or My9. I'm sorry. It's My9, my yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you know, but I'm ex- but I'm happy to hear about this. You know, at least it's giving the chance to uh, for some of these fans, hopefully in October, to come. I mean, you're not going to be able to travel from Toronto to Connecticut, but you could see a few Connecticut fans buy some Toronto soccer gear. Yeah, I mean, you're only going you're only renting the team this year, and soccer's a very good sport to go watch. And stuff. Don't think we, of we dis- we discussed this as well, and I'll say it now. If this becomes a successful rent a season, yep. you may see them come here in about as a permanent team in five years. Yeah, we may have a permanent um, major league soccer team here because Rensselaer Field is built enough for soccer. They've played many soccer games up there before. Yep, they played U.S. games and stuff, and um, high school and college, high school, high school. So this is a very good thing, and don't. Don't think of it, oh, no, it's only soccer. But soccer is a very good sport to go it's and watch. It's be popular again. I mean, yeah. there's some cities that just started up again out I in mean, Europe. So. Yeah. So it's a very fast-paced game. I mean, it's a very fun game. It's quick. I mean, you're out of there in two, two and a half hours, no, no or less. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and you've enjoyed yourself. You're oh, very absolutely. Well yourself. You know, so, but that's how it will go- be. Before we leave, I do want to give you an update. The LA Clippers are up 42 to 31 on Denver. In the yeah, that, that series is over. That series is over. Um, I predict the that. The U.S. One. Open will wrap up this weekend. There's a couple men's semifinals going Serena's on. out of so the um, women's. Beat three sets last night. Yeah. And the late night, I heard too. Her thing didn't start till real late. Yeah, golf started their se- their season again already. They finished their playoffs. Congrats to Dustin Johnson. Yep. When's the Master going to be playing soon? November. No. November. Not Come for on. a while. Not for a little while. Already trying it's to struggle coming. with the NFL schedule for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, already. So. Who, who are you going to put on the TV? Patriots or the Masters? Uh, we well, Joe, I don't know. Maybe, You're putting they, the maybe, Patriots on. They may be moving CBS. They may be moving the times of the football games on purpose. They won't have any one o'clock games. They want to finish the Masters by two thirty. You, you can't hold um anything past one o'clock in Foxborough on on a Sunday. Well, I don't know if the Patriots are playing that. Do week. that. That's the only thing. Yeah, so, but, but um, you know, yeah, and. That's, but that's that's just about a wrap on the show. Um, yeah, that's a good so, show. We for, gave you a lot of family, information. Yeah, we we covered a lot. Uh, I mean, covered a lot. The only thing I do want to say, um, you know, before we go, as you know, high school football uh, has officially, unfortunately, canceled. And I know there's been a lot of parents out there who are giving this "let us play, let them play." I'm like, okay, this is this is not the movie, the Bad News Bears, all over again. Yeah how you look at this let's do it safely let's at least the conversation is going somewhat well yeah i don't see it happening well today, but i don't see it happening i don't see it happening don't be totally up don't blame stuff on people yeah. that don't we can't let, really don't let it become politics because yeah because because otherwise if the parent if the parents get involved oh boy this you don't want it to become a mess. Yeah, no messes. Let's, let's so please let's no all mess. be kind and everything. And yeah, you know, if it's if it's if if you can't play football, you have you may have an opportunity to go play another sport for soccer. Yeah, because because all the other fall sports are going on right now. But you know, things can change because that's another thing too. Some of the schools in the state are starting a little bit. Yep, so got to be careful. Yeah, Just there's been whispers. Bad, but, well, we got one closest to our our neighbor Southington got one today. Yeah. So. so. But 
All right. Unfortunately, the time has, has expired. Uh, this just is, like that. Yeah. This has been your the, uh, the Sportsman Show. I've been your host, Joe Musil. Here. I am Jason Coach D. Carolus. Thank yeah. you very much for watching our, our sweet 16th episode. Sweet 16th as, as episode. Watch board. us on YouTube. Leave some comments on YouTube for us. Uh, comment how good you like the show, how, how you don't like the show. Coachy will read the comments on on the next show if you on leave the a show. comment. Yep, because uh, our views, from what I'm understanding, did our, epi our last episode, did it go up even more, or are we still the same? We're still the same. I, I mean, I think people like the guest a little bit. So. Oh, tell them about the, 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 the special future guest. Yeah, yeah a special, well, we'll leave that to next time. Spe right. We got a special guest coming up. It's, it's going to look good. And it's pop. And she, it's a popular person too. Yes, she is. So, yeah. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Enjoy your NFL week one. Stay safe, all. Stay safe. Bye. -bye. Bye.